It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. My name is Digitalic and I'm a Grandmaster ranked online risk player. And for you today, we're back with Mr. Carl. We're probably gonna stop using this account name soon because I think we're being <laughs> recognized now uh, quite often. Uh, we're gonna play a game of Classic Fixed as usual and we're gonna be playing with Blizzards. I'm the host of the lobby. So let's see how we do. Uh, oh, I'm the first position. So blizzards are on, so I gotta think fast. Uh, any significant blizzards? Yes, the Iceland blizzard is significant. Uh, the other two blizzards are less significant. I've got material in Australia, but that's gone. Um, unfortunately, most of my material is in North America, which is a problem for me because the white player is gonna get a lot of troops and go before me. Maybe I can insist on Africa. Do I have a take? Not really. I could roll a two, but I don't really want to do that. But I think I have to. So we're gonna we're gonna insist on the Africa position. Great dice on the two. We'll bring those. We'll bring those uh, positions together. Look how much look look how consolidated green is. Oh, by the way, uh, we've hit a thousand subscribers. Now, uh, three days ago in my video, when I asked subscriber for subscribers at the beginning of the video, uh, rather than at the end of the video, just to help me get to a thousand subs quickly, when we were at eight hundred and fifty subs at the time, uh, that day I had a record-breaking um, subscription day for my channel. Uh, it was about I think I got seventy-five subscribers that day, which is blows my blue <laughs> blue it it. It was just an absolute record-breaking day. And uh, the, the following day yesterday was also good. It was That would have been record-breaking as well. And then we hit 1,000 subscribers today, so I'm super happy. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate you guys helping me out and supporting me. And uh, now that I'm going to be able to apply for YouTube Partnership, I will be able to take that revenue and reinvest all of it back into the channel so I can get a better viewing experience for you. Okay, let's get back to the game now that we've got that out of the way. I think I've got a pretty good hold on on Africa. Let's hope this red player isn't coming in to fight me, because that would be stupid. Uh, but we'll see. I don't love this start. I mean, I would mu I would much rather have material, you know, concentrated in North America or something. But it is what it is. Let me see if I can make an alliance with the white player. Try and get rescue these troops. Okay, good. So they 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 want an alliance. All right. So let's talk about the settings for today's game. It's world domination, classic map, auto setup, sixty second turn timer, expert automated bots, fixed cards, balance blitz dice, alliances and blizzards are on, but fog and portals are off today. I'm in position one. My ending goes account currently ranked as a grandmaster. In the second position, we've got. The green player, Dragon04 from the United Kingdom. In the third position, uh, the purple player, we have Dicey the Kid from Canada. In the fourth position, we've got the red player, Fab351 from France. In the fifth position, we've got the white player, Ed Kui from Germany. And in the sixth position, we've got Sweezel from Spain. All right. What just, what did I just miss? <coughs> All right, it looks like Pink wants to go into South America. Fair enough. All right, we'll put all of our troops in Africa. Let's hope that Red Player isn't coming in to smash me. We'll get a take. We'll just fortify back to East Africa. Not do anything too overly crazy. Looks like green is going to insist on Europe. Not surprising. Europe is a stronger hold with the Iceland Blizzard because you don't have you don't have to protect your six. <laughs> you just have to protect the normal the the big the southern Europe front. But if my calculations are correct, the red player probably is coming in to try and steal Africa from me. Let's hope they roll this too, and they get a really bad roll. Oh, they're going back into Europe. Fantastic.
Okay, this they have fourteen troops, but we're pretty much tied. If I get a if I get a trade before red, I should be okay. <coughs> Start with cough. Okay. I really like it if the white player would move that fourteen so I can get out. Okay, pink's still working on South America. They have no externals. It looks like they're going to take it this turn. Oh, and they go hard ham into white. And that reminds me, you got to guess ranks. I think pink is a beginner. We'll start with that. We also have to guess on green, purple, um, red, and white. Attack pink, bro. Like, dude. Like, what do you want me to do? Throw all my troops into them? I, like, these requests are crazy. I will attack pink, though. I'll attack their one stack. But that tells me something about the pink player that you probably want, don't want to be beside them. Did I get a trade? I did. Fantastic stuff. Well, that's a pretty choked out board right now. I'm surprised that purple hasn't already taken Australia, but they should do it now. Great rolls. They rolled two twos and I don't think they lost a troop. You can't really ask for anything more than that. Looks like red and green are still fighting for Europe, which is fun. I think I want to try an alliance with the pink player. They accept. Okay, cool. Let's see what pink does. Obviously, I gotta give them the obligatory thumbs up. Well, they're gonna fight with. They're gonna fight with pink. Please don't roll. Roll my five. Wow. Where's the five go? Does it go into the three or the Central America? Looks like it's going on the three. So maybe pink is going to let white hold. I don't know why they rolled the six. That seemed a little bit aggressive. Um, so we do trade here. White wants me to attack out of... North America, I will oblige. I'm not taking Africa yet because I don't want to put I don't want to put a mark on my forehead. Okay, green and red are still fighting over Europe. Purple trade, so purple's super strong. Looks like they're gonna rescue the two out of Africa for me. I don't ask them for an alliance.
Okay, red and green both have four cards. If they trade, we could see some fireworks in the next turn. White aggressively. Okay, so I think white's probably a master with that kind of attack speed. Let's see how pink reacts to that. They stuff it all in white's face. I don't want to take Africa yet. I will see if I can get some value out of that three stack up there. And we'll pass our turn. Okay, so green traded. Purple did not accept my alliance request. One of the reasons why I don't want to take Africa is I want to wait to see what pink does with their trade. If they do anything at all. All right, red trades and this, let's see if this war between green and red continues. It doesn't look like it's going to unless red fortifies back in. Oh, it looks like, nope. Okay, so red leaves Europe, but they didn't really leave because they're still beside it, so. Does white roll pink? They do, they're gonna get the kill. They might fail this. My god, let's hope that pink doesn't have a trade. And even if they do have the trade, that probably all goes into white. Damn it. Oh, I wanted them to not have a trade so bad. But these, these fools are going to eat each other. Isn't this funny? Well, I can definitely think I can take Africa now. Um, I can't really, uh, I don't want to lock my stack. Okay, I don't take Africa yet. But I want stack mobility. I want to be, be able to go in either direction. I want to make an alliance with green. I don't want them to think... You know what? I'll just do this. I'll just pull back in East Africa so it doesn't look threatening. Let's hope I have a trade. That would be really convenient. My problem is getting to white over here. Okay, green is going to take the kill on pink. Okay, I don't think it's worth it with two cards. Oh my god, they're going to fail it. No, they have enough time. Okay. They could fail this with time. Oh, they're not even going to take the kill.
Okay. Fair enough. I guess we're not in the business of killing right now. But that's fine. I just don't think the pink kill was worth it. I mean, I guess I could have taken the Af the North America position. Who cares? Okay, red's going for the white kill. I lose tons of position. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. I probably should have taken the pink kill and sat in North America. That 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 thought eluded me. So is that going to trade red in? No, it's not. But if they kill pink, it will. They better hurry. Yeah, they do have to do one split. No, they don't have to split, okay. This will trade them in. All right. Oh, imagine if they hit or hit, hit green here. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going to take the Europe position. Wow, these rolls are terrible. Okay, now I'm sitting on four cards. I got a big trade. No one can really kill me. Oh, is green gonna go into red? That would be hilarious. Oh my god, these fools. That's such a big hit. And meanwhile, purple in Australia is just laughing it up. Let's see, does purple break me? No. Red doesn't trade, they die. Yeah, I think we definitely kill red for five cards. Then I go strong with green. Okay. Don't really have the time to slider it. Oh, weird. Oh, you guys are going to let me hold too much territory. Purple will probably break Europe. Which, okay, fair enough. But, like, I think the priority here is hitting my territory and cutting me down in territory. Mm. 
I mean, if I had a bigger stack, I could kill purple and take their four cards. Then 1v1. Then 1v1. One v one with red, with green. Green's half. One of green stacks is locked. I got thirteen, plus a big trade with a plus two in Ural or Siberia. Fifty one. Damn, that would. That's just too close. That's just way damn too close. Do I open green? Let's take a card. I don't think purple knows what to do. I really want an open stack. Do I have a trade? I do have a big trade. You fucked up, Green. You better trade. I want you die now. Break me all you want. You are dead. And I'm gonna win this game. Unless, of course, purple activates their stack. Right? If purple activates their stack... Actually, if green rolls my stack here, too, uh, they could cause me to not win. If purple activates their stack, they can win this game. But I can't... Okay, well, looks like I just win.
Purple have cards? Oh, they definitely have cards. So I'm not going to do any kind of blocker. I'm just going to let them break me. But I should still have them. Because I, because they can't, they can't roll my stack effectively. And I can get attacker's advantage on them. Plus, I should have a trade, right? <laughs> Still leaving me with 26 territories. Uh, if purple doesn't unlock their stack... Now, if I get a bad roll in purple stack... So I've got eight. So I gotta roll the stack. I think I think we roll the stack first. We gotta take the trade. It should be enough. I might end up leaving South America to them. They do have more cards than me. But let's let's hope for a good roll. I don't I wanna risk not breaking South America. Oh my fucking lord. Alright, I lose. Damn it. That fucking sucks. A bad fucking roll and I lose. What can you do, guys? If I win that roll, I win the game. What are they doing with the twos? Oh, they're 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 putting blockers up. That's smart. Purple's endgame's not bad. I still think purple's an intermediate best. Green was a intermediate. Well, they're rolling 2v1s, which is not smart. I'm, I still have 20 territories, so maybe not all is not lost here. So I should be able to break something. With a six. Okay. I like how they activated this too. They have 19 territories. Uh, I have to break one of their continents. Be slider. So of course I lose two. They're probably going to have a trade here. Um, I'm not even going to roll this 2v1 because they're above, because I, I only have one to roll, so it's not even worth rolling. Uh, we'll bring this two up here. So they're going to be putting in quite a lot here. Seven, pro probably, I need, a, I need cards. If I have cards, I have cards. Well, they don't have cards. Okay, so I can break everything next turn. Well, that's good. And they just... Mm. Okay. Well, we definitely hit them with the cards and take territory off of them. Plus two in Great Britain is kind of shitty, but it is what it is. So 17. So let's put 10 here. No, let's put 8 here. Yeah, ten here. Oh, let's put let's go nine and nine. We've got to hurry here. All right, so um, try to slider fast. I'm not good at slidering fast. Fuck's sakes, losing 2d1 sucks. Yeah, we got the fortify in. Okay, I got them down to 11 at least. They have a trade. Let's hope it's small. Okay, it's it's not it's not small, but it's not big. They're gonna keep retaking continents. That's kind of funny. They're only gonna be able to break. 
Australia here at the side. I think, I think they're making a mistake. Good roll. Come on, bad roll. Minus one. Open up my three. Okay, purple's not a bad player. They're smart enough not to open the three here. Good, they rolled, They lost a 2v1. Okay, good. Oh, they do open the three. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. They tried to get me below 21. Okay. Let's hope they don't have a trade on three. Let's try and make problems for them. Ugh, it's eight. See, I kind of wanted to... Let's put one here, see if we can get lucky. Seven here, let's hope we get a good roll on the two. We don't, of course. Minus one on that. Uh, where are they at? They're at 13. Get them down to 12 if we can. Cannot. Get it to, oh, let's hold one more. Come on, baby. Yes. Okay, good. We got, we got a troop off them. Oh, we missed our fortify. No trade. Okay, I think I win now. Because even if they have a trade next turn, even if they have trade next turn, I've, I'm I'm just too overwhelmed on them. Wow, I thought I lost this, guys. I probably should have lost it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They, I think they know. Okay, let's just roll a hundred percent. Um, where do we put this? Okay, I'll make him roll through a three, I guess. No trade. Okay, they pass. Well, well played. And a good game. Wow. I should have lost that game when I rolled that stack and got a bad roll. I took a risk there too. I risked letting them hold even even if I because you'll rarely, rarely roll do it like a sixty three on sixty two roll and not have like less than five troops left over. Like so, you know, it's worth the risk. I took it because I'd rather I, I I'd rather hit their stack that's activated. Um, then, then clean up the board and then, 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 roll, then punch their stack with, you know, um, uh, cause you get a better, the, the more you have when you roll a big stack, the, the better chance you have of getting a positive roll when you're rolling lower than their stack amount, the, the chances of getting a positive roll are much lower in balance splits. So I think I made the right play. It was unfortunate, but I somehow was able to squeak out a win. Now, here's the thing. Um, a lot of people have been saying to me, hey, like, you got to post more of your loss. You should post more of your losses. And, you know, I used to post, like, when I was doing, like, the Rank Up series, I used to post every single game, no matter win or loss. Now I'm not posting. I don't post every game. I'm posting games that have interest. And you and you guys are right. I should be posting more of my losses. And I've been trying to all night. I've been playing, trying to be like, you know, I need to get a loss. I need to get a loss. Because I want to post a losing game. And I'm, and kind of, I was actually kind of happy there. Um, the thinking that, okay, I'm going to lose here. This is good. So, it'll, you know, I can, I can, but the thing is I haven't been losing tonight and I've probably played about seven games. Um, so I've been waiting for a loss to post one, but I'm, I'm just going to post this game, uh, because it was a good game. 
um, and it had value. Uh, but by the way, if you want to see me lose at Classic Fix, go look at my Twitch VODs. Uh, like, it's so weird. When I'm recording YouTube, I'm hot as hell, but when I'm playing live on Twitch lately, I've just been, you know, lots of second places. So pretty interesting stuff. Check out my Twitch. Link's in the description. All right, guys, I'll shut up now. Uh, if you like the video, please smash that like button for me. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already, and you and I can get better at this game together. Follow me on Twitch. Link's in the description. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.